Hi, my name is Sam. Uh, I am the founder and creator of the Coaching with Purpose programme, the EMCC accredited workshop. Um, I wanted to share with you a few, few things around how we have made the accreditation process much simpler and much more seamless by actually putting the learning onto an LMS system. And this LMS system is called GiraffePad. We're still developing it. We're still making it even better um, every single day with feedback from the learners and things that we find as facilitators as well. But I thought I'd share with you um, what it is that we've been doing to try and dispel just a few of those myths around becoming an accredited coach and mentor. So I'm going to share with you exactly what it is uh, that we have been doing super excited to be honest um it's really simplified the process from an owner's perspective as well for when we get the program externally verified for instance when we are verifying the learners sort of submissions if you like or creations that they have popped into um giraffe pad for those for their submissions of evidence it's fascinating on how actually it's made the whole process from start to finish so much simpler. So as a learner, I've logged in now as a learner so you can see what it is that a learner would see on their journey. I've just created a master copy of this particular template and it's got the vast majority of the same stuff in that you would have as a learner. As it says on the website as well, it gives you a little bit of information about the program. It gives you the program objectives, etc. And there's also a section um, so you can directly chat with your facilitator for that particular workshop. We're considering actually putting other workshops on here as well because we've been that impressed with this platform. It just works really well. It's just really simple, dead user friendly as well. <clears throat> so they're the details about the facilitator that would be taking your course. And the way we wanted to actually create this was to break down the tasks and the segments because there's quite a lot involved. This program is a foundation program, a 21 hour program, whether it be virtual, which we do from, from start to finish, where we would have six modules over um, probably a three to four month period, or we would do a face to face version as well. It would just look slightly different in the face to face version where we kind of collate and, and sort of put everything together. And of course, the location would be different because we would all be together in a physical room rather than, for instance, on Zoom. So when you receive your joining instructions, uh, when you've joined the Coaching with Purpose programme, we ask you to do certain tasks before the programme starts. Now, as a learning provider, you kind of almost go, oh, are they going to do them? But you know what? This really helps actually not only formulate it, but for them to get to get to know each other as well ahead of the event. One thing I didn't mention was right at the very top of this here, you get a little group chat. So what we encourage uh, learners to do when they join the session is to type a little message in there so learners can get to, you know, so the group can get to know each other and who's going to be their learning buddies, if you like. And also so if they wish to sort of upload a little image, maybe that, I don't know, describes themselves or something that they really enjoy doing. So we ask them to do that and that would be formulated within the pre-workshop tasks. So at the moment you see lots of little red crosses because obviously I'm here as a learner in this particular um, instance and every single time that you would log in to this you can then mark each activity as completed so not only do you see physically where you're up to with your learning journey but also me as the facilitator or one of our other facilitators can also see that learning journey as well. So like it says there pop into group chat uh, and a picture if you wish to as well. So even things like when we send out the psychometrics, the MTQ Plus and the ILM72, the MTQ Q, Q Plus measures how we respond under pressure and stress and kind of, if you like, gives us a great coaching tool that we can use throughout the workshop. And the ILM72 is a leadership model, actually, or a leadership psychometric that looks at our style of leadership as well. So we kind of dovetail those because we get a lot of individuals come on this workshop that either has a leadership background or of course is a coach or mentor or of course is sort of as part of uh, an organisation as well. So we ask you to complete things like the uh, learning outcomes that you wish at this stage that you're looking to kind of gain and of course you can uh, visit those through each session. 
We also encourage you to download the workbook. So we look at learning styles, different types of learners like different types of things. So when you click on there, you can physically go in and click onto the workbook. Some people like a physical paper copy. Some people just like to have it there on the screen. Or of course, if we were in a face-to-face -face event, you'd have a physical paper copy on your desk as well. But we're trying to get away a little bit from the paper. But some of the activities in here uh, that you will need to complete uh, outside, if you like, of this LMS. So you would need a physical paper copy for just a couple of the activities. So when the workbook has uh, downloaded, and I'll just bring this back into the screen because it's opened up on one of my other screens, all of the workbooks would look like this. They'd be very similar. They'd have um, a table of contents, for instance, a little bit of a quote, uh, just telling you a little bit about the workshop and what's going to go on. And of course, then it goes all the way through in regards to some of the activities that we would like you to complete. All of the reflective activities that are here, and if you wish to, you can complete them in the workbook if that's what you want to do. But what we really want individuals to do is to complete all of the reflective activities in GiraffePad uh, because then they can be edited, uh, they can be revisited, and of course then from a submission perspective as their learning provider, um, we can also evaluate those really quickly timely as well and maybe even straight after that individual has completed that and of course then send them a message if there's any corrections or of course if there's any well done's as well so for instance that's how you would download documents i just go back now to the main page so as you move through even things like jamboard test page if it was a virtual event etc there's your complete your values questionnaire ahead of sort of module one etc and it even gives you things to ensure that you have got ready for module one ahead of that particular workshop and we tend to send this out about two to three weeks ahead as you work through each of the modules again you can see i've kind of been playing around so there's a few ticks here as well these are the reflective activities that i mentioned just before so if we just go to that values reflection activity that was that the one that we just looked at in the workbook there you would complete these in here and what i've actually done is i've completed them so if i just retake that questionnaire what it then does it allows me to then go through so what are your top five values i would add them in there for instance um why is having awareness of your own values as a coach important? So I can type in there, you know, a, a good couple of paragraphs in regards to why that's actually really important as a coach and as a mentor. Um, and of course, the final question as you click OK, uh, what can happen if we have different values compared to our coachy and mentee? These are just questions for you to just consider after the workshops and between the workshops as well, which continues the learning on and of course gives you that space and time to just think and consider as well so that could be potentially i don't know a scenario that's maybe come up for you that you know you've got an opportunity to kind of share again at least a good couple of paragraphs there for you to have reflection in fairness that field it, th there is no limit on how much you can type in there so we see some pretty beefy um work in there i've got to say so of course when you've completed the questionnaire it tells you that you've completed it and you can also see here that it's completed fantastic for every single reflective piece that we do and as you can see here in module one we have four questionnaires for well one of them is personal learning outcomes but that may have changed for you and that is in questionnaire format and that follows all the way through each of the workshops so if this is a virtual event we would have six in total <clears throat> we also provide all of the documentation for the emcc of course it is an accredited workshop and we need you guys to have completed all of the documents uh, as well for your portfolio or your submission portfolio of evidence and of course this is what we provide here we give the framework we give supervision code of ethics etc even cpd events etc that the emcc provide free of charge and Paul graham's face on this particular um youtube clip <laughs> makes me smile every single time just that little snippet but we talk also about uh supervision uh, as well and the reflection piece after you have had your supervision sessions as well <coughs> 
just while it just loads again what we'll do is we'll just have a very quick look at some of the uh, additional resources as well which we provide uh, from the workshop so you get things like a coaching bank a, a contract a peer-to-peer -peer mentoring contract and of course we have the resource playlist as well some of those are my videos some of them aren't we just put them all in one place so it's so much easier then for everybody to kind of find things like pathway to accreditation as well you know what does that look like and what's expected of you at each of those elements and then of course finally uh, we use the psychometrics and additional resource there from AQR which is our uh, psychometric provider which is just fantastic it's a superb tool to use as a coach if we really want to peel that onion and get under the surface of the individual which is the whole idea of it because by the time you finish with the workshop things like your questioning your listening your challenge uh, and just how we are as a coach and how we get the best out of that other individual is quite frankly sometimes transformational there's also um, a little video here just to sort of share with the learners on how to use and get the best out of giraffe pad. A little bit like what I've shared with you here, it just goes into a little bit more depth. But if you've got any questions at all in regards to how it is that we use all of this resource and of course giraffe pad uh, to take our learners through the accreditation process, which makes it super simple, uh, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.